to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. I'm on day six of my Christmas card making and today we are going to be doing some gold heat embossing onto the Craft Consortium ink blocks papers. It's a relatively easy process. You can batch make them if you want to. Um, I've done a background with embossing folder and I've added my trademark sequins and a very sweet sentiment. So this is the stamp set that we're going to be using. It's a Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous set. It's red rubber, it's very durable and it's great for when you want to heat emboss with your stamps. Once again I'm going to be working with the Craft Consortium Ink Drops papers. This is my favourite set, the Ocean. My first card was made with that but I'm going to use the scrap of paper from the Ink Drops Rose left over from yesterday's cards. These are really great for festive baubles because of the different shades of pink and red with the flashes of gold running through. To add depth to the background I'm going to be using an embossing folder. This is pine cones from Lisa Horton Crafts and I've got the Wow Embossing Ink and Gold Embossing Powder. I've got some twine to decorate the baubles and some larger than life gold sequins. I'm using a 6x6 card and a piece of white card stock, relatively light that measures 5 and a half inch square and I'm going to run this through the slimline embossing folder. Because it is a slimline, there'll be a very slight mark down the edge where the two joins come together, but I'll show you how to overcome this. For my large Citix Big Shot, I only need to use one plate to run the 3D embossing folders through, but you do need to check your manufacturer's instructions. So now that it is embossed, I'm going to use a piece of gold washi tape. This is from Graphic 45 and where the seam is in between the two pieces of embossed card, I'm going to simply cover it up and make it part of the design. I'm going to round the corners with a corner punch and then adhere it with wet glue. In preparation for the heat embossing I'm turning the heat tool on and then I'm going to be working with the ink drops rose paper and using the designs within it to help with the style of the bauble. I'm adding plenty of anti-static powder and then I'm going to be ready to ink so I'm doing two or three baubles at a time and this will really help if you want to batch make this particular design. Once I've inked and stamped the images, I'm going to use the heat tool on a low setting take my time and heat from the reverse of the image. This will give me a smooth finish. Now the papers have cooled down, I'm fussy cutting the outline. Because it's embossed, you'll find it easier to cut right close up to the edge. I want to punch a small hole in the top of the bubble holder so I'm marking it with a pencil so that I've got something to look through when I use the hole punch. Mm -hmm. 
The pencil mark can be gently removed with an eraser and then I'm going to add some twine within the punched holes. I'm not the best at making bows but I make two bunny ears and then loop them through and then spend some time just evening up the loops. I'm adding small beads of 3D glue gel to the back of the baubles. And again I'm adding a classic festive sentiment and a few oversized gold sequins. card design number six we've got it in the rose and also the ocean blue you have to let me know which one of the six card designs you've enjoyed making so far I hope you will continue to join me on this card making journey and I look forward to welcoming you back to Elizabeth Hogarth's designs very very soon bye bye for now